Oh, <laughs> hey, 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 Minamimoto. Okay, hello, everybody. We are here in Mount Cornet. I have a bunch of repels out. Apparently, my Pokemon don't follow me in the caves, which is sad. So, today, it is time. That's right. We are heading up to the top of Mount Cornet. I don't really remember how to get up there. So, that's why I bought 30 max repels that I'm just going to keep spamming over and over and over. Because I just want to get to the top. But I believe we do have to fight some galactic goons on the way up there. So, because of that, um, that's going to be completely fine for me. Because I can level up my good friend Minamimoto inside Mount Coronet, which will allow it to become a Magnet Zone. So, I don't know if this is the way that we go up, but I know that we have to start going up. And I don't know if this is, again, the right way to go. But if it is, I'm cool with that. So, we're just going to be exploring around Mount Coronet at the start of today's episode. And if this isn't the right way, then we're just gonna cry, I suppose. Oh, an ether in the rock. Cool. Max potion and an ether. I see a lot of bridges, so that means this is like a... You'd think that this is a well-traveled area. Yes. So that would make me think... Okay, there's a lot of Pokeballs in here. What the heck? Rock slide. Ooh. Interesting. Also, I see an exit over, oh, out over there. Is that a snowy area? Because if it is, that means we're definitely going the right way. A revive. Very nice. Something tells me in the original game, Looker... Looker was like around here someplace? I'm not sure. We're definitely just exploring. Mount Cornet is pretty big to my knowledge. So I could like completely be accidentally going the wrong way. Oh wait, hold on. No, I think I'm going the right way. No way. Yeah, here we are. Here we are. Here's the grunts. Okay, we definitely went the right way. I guess there's just multiple ways to come up this way. So hello? We grunts have been assigned two noble jobs. One, to ensure the success of our operation at the summit. And two, to utterly destroy anyone who dares to interfere. I see. Well, I'm the one who's interfering. I gotta get up to the top of this tower, or tower, cliff, mountain, mountain. That's what it is. It's a mountain. That's right. Mount Coronet. That's what it's called. It's not called Coronet Town. <laughs> Whatever. Minamoto's out here. We just need to level up Minamoto one time in Mount Coronet, and then we'll have a beautiful, beautiful Magna Zone. The question is, I feel like it has to be inside. So I know we can go like outside Mount Coronet and do like a little bit of a, you know, rock climb and stuff like that. But I gotta make sure when I level up, it's inside, which is good because there's some grunts up in here. And I feel like we have to fight quite a few of them too. <sighs> I don't accept this. I will not accept this. Well, you're gonna have to because you're dead. Moving on from you. We got some more grunts. Yeah, here we go. Another grunt. Let's fight, friend. Our time has come. It's seems like it's time now. No, it's not. It's my time. It's Magnazone time, friend. Can you please have- Okay, this is the one time that I want the Galactic Grunts to actually have more than one Pokemon to fight, and you're not even giving it to me now? Come on! I just need to level up my Magneton into a Magnezone. Please! It's the last Pokemon on my team that has a level up restriction that I can't just, you know, actually just get regular EXP from. Because after this, I think Donnie is the only one who will need to level up just by regularly leveling up. Oh, when's it gonna be my turn? Uh, it's my turn on the Switch, Mom said so. Come on, come on, Galactic Grunt. Okay, I don't know how close we are to leveling up, but I think we're relatively close. Oh, is this the outside? Outside time? Yes, it is. Okay, ooh, the pretty music. Yes, I love this I love this Mount Cornet theme, I believe. Does it only play now, or does it play throughout the entirety of the Mount Cornet as we're heading up? I can't remember. Okay, so there's obviously lots of different ways to go. We can rock climb up more. I feel like... Yeah... Uh, let's keep up the repels for now. There's multiple areas we can go. I don't know if they're all the right way. Ooh. Oh, we don't have waterfall, though. Yeah, that's the last, um, HM that we do not have. So anything that has, like, a waterfall, we can't enter up yet. Oh. It just entered the cool part of the song, and I have to fight a grunt. Aw, oh, whatever. That's fine. Our time will come, and a time only for us. I'm going to turn back your time to a time before Pokemon. Hold on, dude. We're not playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. That doesn't come out for another few months. <laughs> Actually, wait, doesn't that come out in February or March or something? So yeah, it's only like three months away, at least at the time of recording this. This is probably going to go up like a couple days after I'm recording this. Still recording on the 26th of December, so this is probably going to come out on the 28th, maybe? I would hope, at least. I'm not sure. The New Year's also almost done. Definitely let me know uh, in the comments if you made it this far if you have any New Year's resolutions. I know that's like a lot of things. That's like a main thing that like, oh, New Year's resolutions, haha, funny. Most people will make one and then just never you know, stick to it. It's like, or, or you should just always make resolutions at any time of the year. It doesn't always have to be after New Year's. But I don't know. I think, like, New Year's definitely has, like, a weird mental impact on people. That is, it's like, oh, it's a fresh start to the year. Just because, I don't know, it's like a fresh reset. 
even though it doesn't really mean anything. It's like it's like the fact it's like oh your birthday goes up an age but you don't really feel any different, or like a start to a new week or whatever. I don't know. A start to a new year always just has this weird fresh feeling to it. At least for me. Maybe other people would disagree, but for me, I always like to uh, just I, again also my New Year's resolutions. I've never really had any. A lot a lot of mine were at least the last two years. It was always upload every single day. And I think at the beginning of 2021, this year, I actually made it pretty far. I think from January 1st to like March 18th, I uploaded every single day. And the only reason I didn't was because like my family got in the way and I wasn't able to record any videos. So if it was like completely under my power, if I was, you know, if I moved out, which I hopefully will in about five months, um, then I would actually have complete control over my upload schedule. So... Team Galactic is all-powerful. Only a fool would show defiance to the mighty might of Team Galactic. But yes, if it was, like, under my own power, I would upload every single day, 100%. I would upload... I used to upload, like, two years ago, I used to upload two times in one day. That was, like, the ideal... That was, like, the good old days when I used to upload two times in one day. And that was awesome. But nowadays, it's a little more difficult, just with all the stuff happening. But either way, Minamoto is getting really close to level 53, and 53 screams at me as a level up and a Magnazone. I can't wait to see this Magnazone. I love Magnazone. Definitely one of my... Definitely one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, maybe not like top 10, but surely like top 50. It's up there. It's definitely up there. I really like Magnazone. It's cute. It's very uh, good in... as like a Steel Electric type Pokemon. I know it like, has a super big weakness to ground, but I don't know. It's just a very fun Pokemon to use. Uh, definitely won't be using it against Bertha at all in the freaking Elite Four, because we would immediately die. Look at how close we are! Oh my gosh! One more! One more Pokemon we need to fight. I think this guy only had two, which is unfortunate, but literally one more Pokemon. And we're gonna level up. That's so cool. Uh, not standing up to the mightiest foolish, you say? Uh, sure. I, I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention to what you said. Sorry, friend. Ah, uh, yes, I love this music so much. Escape rope. Cool, cool. Okay, yeah, but yes, my news resolution is pretty basic. It's just to draw more. Literally just draw more. Nothing like to create, not like draw every single day. I was thinking about making it like draw every single day, but I was like, I'm not going to be able to stick to that. That's going to be too hard. That's going to stress me out. I just won't have enough time to do all that. Instead, I'm just like, just draw. Just draw more often. Maybe like at least a couple times a week or something like that. Just like sit down for like an hour and just draw. Because I want to get better at art. I want to do like more art for my channel or just like get better at art in general. Because I don't need to be like crazy good. I just want to be better at it, you know? It's just a skill that I want to have. This is our final operation. No one will interfere. Ah, your final operation, so you're disbanding after this? That's sad, dude. I, I hate to see you. I hate to see the teams disband. That's always very sad. It's good that we're fighting you on the inside, though, because that means after we kill this Golbat, that should be our level up. And if we don't level up in this, I'm gonna be a little sad, because that's what the wiki told me. It said Magneton levels up in Mount Coronet anywhere. So I'm trusting the wiki, and if it lied to me well, then I'm gonna go cry. There it is. Level 53. Come on. Oh, do we have 138 special attack adds on freaking Magneton? What is it going to be when you have a Magneton? Maybe like 160-something? You turn the tables on me! I call interference! Okay, please, what? 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 Yes, what? What? Minamimoto is evolving! <gasps> I can't do it. I should literally just play the freaking Minamimoto thing. It's so funny because, once again, I feel like I made the joke already, but... Minamimoto is a character from Neo Toei. And his theme's name is called Transformation, so when it says it's evolving or transforming, it's it's very funny to me. Though not many people are probably going to get the joke. <laughs> yeah, but there we go, we finally have our Magnezone. Oh, Magnezone in all its glory. What is your special attack now? Is it 160? 149? Okay, it didn't go up as much as I thought it would, but that's still a good amount. We, all got, we got that sturdy, so I could even go up against a ground type if I really wanted to, because... I'm guaranteed to at least level hit, unless it has, like, Mold Breaker or something, which I believe cancels out the other person's ability, effectively making Sturdy completely useless. Also, bye! Oh, <laughs> okay, fine, sure. Say, listen, do you realize you're breaking hearts by being successful? It's your fault that Team Galactic members are in so much pain. Aw, oh, man, is that, like, the DJ Khalid, or whatever his name is, uh, suffering from success? I feel like that's what's happening right now. It's like, oh, all these people are sad because I am succeeding. Oh, <laughs> suffering some su uh, success. Also, why do you guys still have Wurmples? Seriously, chill out. But there's my Magnezone. Ooh, hoo, hoo, I love Magnezone. Oh, so big! I forgot Magnezone was so big. You want to be petted? Oh, that's adorable. I love Magnezone. I didn't think it was that big. My God. Okay, I don't actually think it's that big. I think it's because the Wurmple is so small that it's, like, really zoomed in. I, don't know, I know Magnezone is big. I know there's, uh, in the, I believe it's the Pokemon Platinum movie, the Garatina movie, 
The villain, like, stands on a Magnezone, I'm pretty sure. Oh, he, like, rides on one. I could be totally making that up. I know there is a Magnezone in that movie, though. And Magnezone is most definitely a very cool Pokemon. It just looks cool. Like, look at it. It just is cool. I like Magnezone. I, if I got to ride on a Magnezone, that'd be so cool. Because he can just fly around, just levitating anywhere he wants. He should totally have Levitate. Is that not an ability that he gets? I think it's like Sturdy and Magnet Pole. He should 100% have Levitate. Again, I don't even remember if it's uh, a hidden ability or not, but... if it, I feel like I remember if it did have Levitate. I can't remember. I'll probably just put up an idea. I feel like I've already asked this question, but again, after I... There was, I did take like a two to three week break from this game. Unintentionally, I didn't want to, but I just had to. You know, busy time with the holidays and such. But yeah, once again, definitely just let me know about those New Year's resolutions if you have any, or just like even if you don't have a resolution, just something that you'd like to, uh, something that you'd like to change, I suppose. See, you left me brokenhearted too. Yeah, I mean, you're the one who's looking at a wall, seriously. But I don't. Know, I, I just feel like it'd be nice just to, because everyone has something about themselves that they'd like to have different, I suppose. At least most people do. I can't believe you chased me here. Okay, let's see how tough you are. Even if it's just like self-improvement, or even like something really small, maybe you just be like, I want to take more time to myself to like relax or something. Even it could be even something small like that. I don't know, just like small little changes that I feel like a new year just be like an inspiration for change. Because I know like a lot of people will be like, oh, I know like a lot. Of, uh, if you talk to like most people, they're like, oh, I'm gonna hit the gym, I'm gonna lose so much weight, and then like they go to the gym like maybe one time, and it's like, oh, well, never again. <laughs> it's like that's the only time they'll ever do it. But for me, it's just I just want to draw more. That's just my thing. I really do, I do like drawing, it's the fact that it's just like, I'm so bad at it, and I, whenever I draw, I just feel like, I feel like I just like, want to draw whatever I want to draw at that time, and anytime I want to like, focus on skill building, like, with actually drawing, my brain, my, my brain just like, wants to just draw all the stuff that I'm used to drawing instead, so, I don't know, it's like, I feel like I have like, this comfort zone with, when I draw, but when I like, step out of that comfort zone, I just feel like I'm really, really bad, and everything that I draw is absolutely disgusting, and I want to burn it, so, I don't know, it, it's like, it's a weird feeling, because you want to improve at something, but you also don't want to like step out of the comfort zone of where I are, where I am now. Because I, I used to draw like a lot when it came to, uh, if you remember the flip notes. Does anyone know flip notes from the DS? I used to draw flip notes all the time. I actually did learn like a bit of drawing just from that. I used to draw like Kirby's and like little Kirby OC characters or Kirby little like, Kirby enemies and characters. I just like draw them doing like little funny dances or skits or something. I don't know, just like little animations on the flip note for the DS. And I would just, I would learn to draw a little bit from that, just because I used to do it all the time. And I'm pretty decent at, like, when it comes to drawing little Kirby's or, like, cute little things. Like, I can draw, like, Snom, like, the Pokemon, or, like, the Doos. I can, like, make them look good. And if I do have a reference, I don't think my drawing is, like, the absolute worst. But, like, when it comes to freehand or, like, drawing with proportions or, like, certain angles, I'm so bad. Like, I, I cannot draw, like, people from the side. I can, if I have a reference, I can draw people's faces somewhat. Not great, but, like, somewhat. But, like, I'm really, really bad at drawing people from, like, angles or from the sides. Just stuff like that. Stuff like that is, like, really, really hard for me. So, I, that, that's the kind of stuff that I need to practice with. And it's just, like, I just don't want to because I'm just so bad. Unless I have, like, a perfect reference to, uh, you know, to copy from, I suppose. Okay, so all the way down here, is this where I'm actually supposed to go? I'm hopelessly lost. Please don't pay any attention to a lonely girl without any Pokemon. Um, okay, so that's obviously where we don't need to go. It's then why would I come all the way down here? That makes me think I needed to go to you. Okay, oh, Bidoof. Not even a be barrel, just a regular Bidoof. Thanks, friend. Uh, why is this here? I feel like if this was here, there's a reason for it. I told you there's a reason for it. Why would they put a rock in front of a rock unless there's a reason to? Silly little devs. You can't trick me. I've studied game design. And there's nothing here. Except the revive. Well, um, uh, hmm. Now I feel like an idiot. Oh, no, right here. Okay, never mind. I almost missed out of these rocks. Oh wait, no, I was already here. Yeah, hold on. So there was no point in coming here this whole time. Well, now I feel like a bigger idiot. So if not there, then up here, yes? Surely. This is the only last place I can go, correct? Up we go. And... Actually, now I think I do feel like I remember coming over here. Yeah. Dude, there's so many items hidden in rocks. I swear. Mount Coronet's got everything. What about right here? Surely. Yes, again? Okay, nah, that'd be a little too much. Why would we come down here, though? I'm spamming the A button. Big mushroom. Okay, tiny mushroom, big mushroom. Mount Cornet truly does have it all. Okay, in here, surely. I think we're getting really close, actually. I think we're almost at the summit. Yes. Is this it? I think this might be hit. We're almost there. I really do feel like we're... Oh, hold on. Still got a few more battles. I think it's right after this. I think this is, like, the last stretch. Our boss is going to do something huge at the summit. But here I am, dealing with some pesky intruder. 
You're spoiling the atmosphere. You can lose quickly, right? Oh boy, yeah, so these are the last grunts. I'm wondering, here's the thing, I wonder if I should stop this episode early after we get to the top, make it to the top of Mount Cornet, and then we do like the plot after that? Or we just have one big long episode of me climbing the entirety of Mount Cornet and just going through the whole thing. I feel like it might be nicer to split up the episodes, but I'll just see how long it is after this. So here's a bronze ore. Easy, we just spam Shadow Ball. I did just put a ghost tag or a spell tag on Dorian, so now my Shadow Balls will be doing a little bonus damage. Also, Shadow Ball looks super cool in this gen, what the heck? That looked really cool, it was like boom, boom, boom as it got bigger and bigger. That looked neat. Ah, uh, there's that Glamia. Yeah, see, Dorian can't really do anything against Glamias. That's what I was like really hoping I didn't want to fight Glamias, because that's like the one Team Galactic Pokemon that Dorian can't really do much against, because I kind of just spam Shadow Ball on a lot of them. Because I got Stab, High Special Attack, Spell Tag, but Glamias? Eh, I don't really have anything for Glamias. I'm gonna have Star, uh, freaking Star After, or Star Flyer rather, but I don't want to just spam Close Combat on everything. I just want to use Donnie and Doran because they're a little underleveled, and it makes the battles a little more interesting considering they're on a bit more even playing field, I suppose. There's an Aerial Ace, not much damage, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. I say a little bit, plus I got the leftovers. Do I heal? How much do I heal from this? Six damage, okay. Cool. Perish, you're gone. Okay, that's one down. I say one down, but I just mean in this room specifically. You're not supposed to work me over like that. Sorry, Team Galactic Grunt. I'm sorry. Hey, Team Galactic Grunt, how's it going? I just beat up like 20, all 12 of you guys. Team Galactic will take control of everything. You can try all you want, but you can't do anything alone. Uh, do you not remember the time? I guess you weren't there, but I basically just invaded the entire hideout, climbed this entire mountain by myself. I've been doing this entire journey solo, dude. I mean, for the most part, Baron's was kind of there, but he just lost immediately. So Bronzor, you can die to a Shadow Ball. As long as this guy doesn't have a Glamia, we can just kind of keep out Dorian and keep spamming away. Boom, boom, I love it, that's so cool. Shadow Ball always looks kind of cool in some of the other games, but this one looks really neat. I do like how some of the animations are a little different in this game. I know like a lot of them are the same. I mean, at least, I, I don't know, maybe maybe they're all slightly different, but like they have like, they, they like follow the same sort of principles that all, a lot of the other ones did, I don't know. I really don't know which animations they choose to reuse or redo, but some of them definitely look newer. Like Thunderbolt, does that look the same? I feel like that. I feel like that looks different too. I don't know. Maybe they did redo all the animations for some reason, even though they all look fine in the Sword and Shield or whatever. But that Shadow Ball does definitely does look very neat. Either way, another one down. Yahoo! Oh, all you gave me was a taste of defeat. I'm sorry, Team Galactic Chumps. There's just so many of you. I, I kind of just have to deal with you all at once. Okay. Final stretch, is this it? Okay, now this has to be it, no, 100%. This is like center walking up the stairs, this has to be it. You've worked so hard to get here, you should be proud of yourself. And now I'll send you packing with only that happy thought. Oh no, I'm so scared of your your bronze bronzor and your gold bat. Oh boy, oh, and a wormple, because you're gonna have a, okay, there's the gold bat. Let's try and guess what our third Pokemon is. Probably gonna be a Krogunk? Let's see, gold bat, bronzor, Krogunk, yes, surely. Surely that's your crew, 100%. I outspeed, I do outspeed, wow. I don't know how fast Miss Magus is, or Miss Maggie is. I, I, don't know, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'll say Dorian. I don't know how fast Dorian is. I feel like Dorian is relatively fast? I can't remember, I could, I could check Dorian's speed in just a second. Where's the Bronzor? There's the Bronzor, okay, what's your last one? It's gotta be the Krogunk, right? Come on, it's like, we, we got like a very small list of Pokemon to choose from, and they're probably not gonna have dupes. So, Bronzor, Golbat, you could have Stunky, you could have Glamio, you could have Krogunk, you could have uh, Silcoon, maybe like a Dustox. I feel like you're gonna have a Krogunk though. Uh, just like with the Pokemon that you're using right now, you're probably gonna have a Krogunk. Glamio, okay. Well, we were close. We were close, time to spam close combat. Okay, so I'm not worried, I'm just gonna spam close combat. I was thinking I did wanna save the uh, PP for close combat, but then I realized I'm pretty sure that we get a free heal up here. So, I don't think I have to worry about using up all my PP and HP or whatever. So, that should be fine. Starfly level up? No, oh, not quite, not even close, okay. <laughs> Still a little too far away. Oh, how dare you? That's how you respond to my generosity? Listen, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm taking more money because amulet coin moment. Okay, there we go, this is it. Only one last person, and now we are at the Spear Pillar. Okay, so, do I end it off early, or do I go? I think... I think we ended off here. Oh, you can even see the flute! <gasps> you can see the Azur flute, that's so sick! Okay, yeah. I'm gonna leave it here, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. We're gonna see what happens in the next episode. You can barely, you can kinda see Cyrus up there. I can also see a little bit of a Jupiter and Mars action, too. 
Okay, but that'll be it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the plot for the next episode. Have a great day. Bye-bye.